Hi, from the last video we have a 100 millisecond timer running and we used TC0 to set up this 100 milliseconds with timer interrupts enabled. Now we're going to send some simple hello world messages and use first a low level Impelab Harmony peripheral library API. Then we're going to use a standard IO uh, to be able to add some variables. And finally, we're going to run a loopback example, which we've been referencing uh, pieces of. Uh, let's have a look. So first we need to find a suitable peripheral. So there's something called a SIRCOM. And we can see that that's a serial communication interface, can be configured as UART, SPY, or I2C. In UART mode, this can be configured to be blocking, non-blocking, or ring buffer. Non-blocking, the interrupt is enabled. And scrolling down, we can see that there's code examples for blocking, non-blocking, and ring buffer mode. Let's stick with the non-blocking using interrupts like we did in the timer. First, we need to figure out which of these circums to add. We can do that by referencing our board documentation. Last time we used the dev kit, this time we're going to use Explorer Pronounce for all C nanos. We can scroll down, find our kit, and you can see here that here we see the Curiosity Nano in the context of the Curiosity Nano Explorer. For example, the pot meter is on PA11. Here we see the board itself, and we were looking to see which circum we needed. So here, circum 1 is connected to the CDC RX or TX of the embedded debugger. So we can use the MPLAB data visualizer or any other terminal program. Pad 1 is RX, pad 0 is TX. Circum 1. You can see that it's in UART mode non-blocking mode and we needed our rx on pad one pad zero was our tx now we need to connect pins to pads so pad a0 needs to be a circum functionality as does pad one In the pin table we can now scroll and isolate and here we can see that we have pads and pins Okay, this should be ready to go. So we can start adding code. Just remember to generate code after making some configuration changes. So in the code, we can see that we register write and read callbacks, and then we send a circum yacht write message. The write callbacks just set certain status, which can then be handled um, in main, but we can leave that out for now. So we'll send this message in the timer callback and we can use this char message. So we wanted just a hello world and it was you what one. Okay, control shift P to build looks good. We will launch again. Now we just need to add a terminal. Run. And we have our hello world. Okay, so now we wanted to send some variables in our string, so we want a standard printf. Let's see the support available to us. We can search for standard IO, and let's look what this is. Provides bindings for the standard IO library functions, but does not provide any APIs. So we can just connect this to our UI. And as I do that, I'm just gonna make you aware it's in non-blocking mode right click active certifies and it changes the UART purple because it's changed by the system to um, 
to be blocking. I'm going to generate some code and come back to main and this time get a little bit of help from the chatbot to change this to new message. Control L to send the code to the chatbot. Please replace the circle one you are right with the standard printf message, add a count variable to the hello world message. Okay, I just want to keep this really simple, so I'll avoid the sprintf where we first print to a buffer. So I can do this to replace the code. Delete a couple of extra lines. Let's build. Okay, there we have our count variable added. So lastly, we just wanted to run the full program that was given in the example code, the loopback. So let's have a look at that. There's two pieces to this. The bit before main with the uh, callback functions, etc. So we'll put that at the start of our main. And what we'll do is remove the extra little bits that we've added. And then we have our main here. Now, looking here, we have a main which looks a bit longer. So I'm going to take the short bits of our main here and put them into the longer main that I have, removing the bits that are not needed. So here we have callback functions. So I'm going to add the timer callback next to the UART callback registers. And so we start the timer, send a start message. Okay. So here we've pasted code which references circum zero. We want to replace this with circum one. Okay. So circum one, write and read callbacks are not there. And that's not a surprise because we still have the circum in blocking mode. So we can remove standard IO. We can set the circum to non-blocking mode. Just going to open a UART function and show you how you can use the outline to see the functions there. Now I'm going to generate code. As the code generates, we can see all the circum functions now with write and read callbacks added. So you can try and compile now. It's a little error. Ask the chatbot again. We just need string.h. And let's run the code. So now we have a loopback. Hello world pick 32 CMMC. We get part of that. We can see that here our Rx buffer is just 10. Make that 100. Run the code again, and we can see hello world pick32 uh, CMMC. Okay, that's it for this two part hello world. Keep in mind that if you're interested in sending messages from the application, that there's also a system service, system console, which has a system console printf function, 
for similar functionality. This one uh, uses a ring buffer mode and is thread safe, so is safe to use with an RTOS. And note that there are a few RTOSs supported in Harmony. Thank you.